Welcome back everybody. It's been a few days. I actually decided to take a day off and so on Sunday I went for a 10 mile hike. It was a real challenging hike but it was a ton of fun and it was just beautiful and it felt so good to get out and actually do something. I don't feel like I've really done that in ages. And starting this week here in the Bay Area, we've reversed the opening process. So things that were opening up are now back on lockdown. So everything continues. Hey, do you have kids? Do you want kids? Do you want my kid? Hey. I got a really fun project that your kids will love. Hey, you might like it too. I made one of these floating magic wands about 10 years ago and I made a video for it too, but I had to take that video down because I used copyrighted music. Uh, back in like 2008, 2009, everybody was using copyrighted music in their videos. You know how I would check to see if it was safe to use if a bunch of other people were using it? <laughs> Those older videos should just be like grandfathered in. It's like, okay, you guys didn't know any, any better at all so we'll give you a pass. But I do remember that music I used was uh, Black Eyed Peas and a lot of people didn't like that song anyway so it was probably good that I, I didn't keep that video. This is a 5 8 inch diameter dowel. Try to pick one that is as straight as possible and then cut it to that length. I cut mine to exactly 27 and 5 16 you can cut yours down to that too if you want. Then at the hardware store, I bought a 5 16th inch steel dowel pin. This one's an inch and a quarter long. All this is is to provide some weight in one end. So what I've done is I've, I've dropped it. What I've done is I've just flagged with a piece of tape my drill and I'm gonna drill maybe a half inch deeper than the length of that. Since I need to make it that deep, it's going to be a little tricky to keep it going straight and not wandering and coming out the side. So the best solution here is to first drill a pilot hole with a smaller bit. And I'll just push that steel dowel pin all the way in. Ooh, that's a tight fit. I want to go deeper than the end here. And I cut a dowel, a 5 16 diameter dowel, down to just a little pin, and I'm going to use it to try to push this in there. Okay, so now that's down below the surface. Now what I want to do is actually glue this wooden one into that hole. And with a glue dryer, I can cut off that little dowel and square this up. So this is going to be heavier on one side than the other, and you want to find the balancing point on that. One way to do that is just kind of move your fingers in like that, and that'll give you the rough idea of where it balances. And once you find that balancing point or about where it is, make a mark maybe an inch over on the lighter side or the bigger side. I've got a teeny tiny drill bit now that I'll drill all the way through. This is probably like a 16th inch bit. With that dry, I want to splatter on some black paint. This is just some acrylic craft paint. And it makes it look kind of cool, but it really serves a more important purpose, and that is to obscure the black thread. I'm going to seal that acrylic paint with some spray lacquer. All right, once all that is dry, get some thin black thread and thread it through that little bitty hole. You can see with those paint splatters on there, that hole is almost invisible. And then you just want to tie a knot there. Now just cut off a length of that thread that's a little bit longer 
than the wand, so right about in there. And when you're ready to use it, just wrap it a couple of times around your finger. You'll need to practice a little bit with this to kind of get the technique down, but basically it's gonna hang kind of like that. You can adjust where that hole is and kind of changes the effect, but this is how it looks. I think if you were a really clever magician, you would figure out a way to remove that thread as soon as you're done using this. And then maybe, maybe if you were just really sneaky, you could just break it off and nobody would know, be the wiser. And then you could hand it to somebody and say, now you try it. Hours of fun right there. Of course, then you're walking around with this thread on your finger. I'm probably not the world's best magician. Hey, thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. So I'm a little bit different. I'll get back to my regular vlogging schedule next time. I've got some design modifications to talk to you about Antonio Shoeshine Box. Uh, probably have ABCs of woodworking and I can show you some of the the catification designs that I'm starting. I have a new approach to that cabinet area in my dining room and I'll, I'll show that to you next time too. So thanks again. I'll see you guys later.